So let's just uh, hold the, push the rivet in there and yes. let's size this and we'll look at the back side of it. So this, uh, it, I feel like I'm, I'm a walking advertisement for Cleveland Tool here. Everything has Cleveland Tool on them. They, uh, they have in no way paid for any of this. <laughs> but uh, so it's got a little marking for the Dash 3, um, and that will help us figure out if this is the right size rivet. So we can tell that this rivet is too long because it's, if I, if I hold the bottom of the, the die on the surface of the dimple, make sure it's not on the surface of the skin, on the surface of the dimple, the rivet doesn't fit under the, oh, okay. the little cutout. Okay, so that's, I see, so that's not for final length, that's just for figuring out whether you have the correct length. Exactly, before so you this it. size is for the before, and then the edges are for the final. Oh, oh, okay, and, and then that hole tells you it's a three. Yes, right. so that hole we'll use when we're done. When oh, we like, I see, it. I see, okay. So let me grab a couple of smaller rivets. So, okay, so we have the three dimples, and I actually have three different lengths of the same rivet here. Um, it's a dash three, a dash three and a half, and a dash four. The proper size is a dash three and a half, which we can tell by measuring. So we'll put the, the rivet in, and then we can see that it is just a smidge taller than it needs to be. The dash three over here is gonna be a little short, and of course the dash four is gonna be really tall. So this one is almost perfect, if not a tiny little bit short. This is actually probably the correct rivet size, but um, I prefer to err, err? Error. <laughs> error. Um, to be slightly long because that gives you a little more to work with on the rivet. And the downside is, uh, the downside is twofold. One is the rivet's a little finickier to set. You just gotta be careful that it doesn't fold. Um, and the other downside is you get an extra 0 0.00001 ounce of metal in the airplane that you didn't need. Um, so <laughs> there's that. Let's change the dies now on the squeezer. I'll put these back in the right place. And we're just gonna do flat dies. Um, it looks like I'm actually missing one of my flat dies. And very similar. So we're going to tighten it up. And I'll usually, for the, the first one, I'll just grab the rivet and I'll hold it up. And I know this is obvious, you know, clearly it needs more movement there. So we'll just move it a little more. So the correct, when the rivet is set, the shop head, which is the size that got squeezed, is one and a half times the diameter of the rivet. Usually you're not going to be squeezing one rivet. You're going to squeeze a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of, of them. all the same size, probably. Oh, exactly. So you set it once, and the first one is going to take you like two or three squeezes to get it just right. Yeah. And then you're done setting it. Okay. So like the first one, you're inching up to it yep. so that you get it just right. And then you don't have to drill it out. Yeah. You don't have to drill it out, and it'll be just, and then you just do the rest of them. And then eventually you get really quick at this, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's doing something. There we go. Oh, that looks good. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Let's see that one more time. Yep, Dale can show it to you. So it won't fit over the hole, over the rivet. Yeah, I, almost. But not almost, yep. Yeah. And then the other one is this little notch, which let me actually clean this off and give you a different one. Oh, no, there we go. Um, I used this on rivets with Pro Seal on them earlier, so they got... So you want to hold the notch this way. Let's see if both of you can see it. And the, it, when it's resting on the top of the rivet, it shouldn't touch the dimple. It looks like it, it might and be either just right or slightly overset. Yeah, it's like so, just about on it. So what I'll do is I'm going to take it back one for the... Actually, it doesn't matter because the next one is a different size. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, 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 <clears throat> so underset means that you can fit the head inside the hole on the tool. Exactly. And overset means that the tool is 
you squeezed it too much. Squeezed too, it squeezed too much and the tool is now touching right. the plate. Yep. Um, and there's different types of tools. So this is like one that has a bunch of different sizes on yep. it. I also have individual yeah, ones. I've seen these before, yeah. Um, and Avery Tools makes these, and it's, it's the same thing, right? Like it's the hole, which is a certain size, and on this end, it's just sort of a cutout that's, you know, sort of a certain size, the same as this edge cutout. It's important that these actually be clean so that, um, and these are a little covered in pro seal. So, all right, so let's grab the next size up, the three and a half. Okay. Um, and we're gonna do the same thing. Just pop the rivet in there, and we're because th this is a longer rivet, it's going to take less of a squeeze to get the correct diameter. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take this out. Um, so it's half a size. I would usually take it out two or three. Okay. And it'll be under, and then we'll set it. But I'm going to take it out four because I think we over squeezed that last one a tiny little bit. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Some resistance there? Yeah, a little bit of resistance there. Not as much as the last one. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing you get a really good feel for that after a while though. So, so that does not look... Like that looks like it could go some more. Yeah. And you can tell by this, the diameter Let's of the <laughs> squeezed rivet there. You see that rivet looks not squeezed enough. <laughs> yeah. It's probably hard to see with yeah. the reflection. Maybe we'll take a photo of this. Yeah. yeah. Good. All right. So that's it for basic riveting. Stay tuned for countersinking, and we're going to start uh, actually riveting pieces together.